everybody and welcome to my channel so today I'm actually doing something really exciting I am making an artwork for the YouTube artist collective now if you don't know what the YouTube artist collective is it is a group of artists here on YouTube who are also on this Facebook page and basically they all do a big collaboration every two months and yeah the theme for that collaboration is actually voted for by everyone on their uh, their, their Facebook page and I'm very very excited to announce that I'm actually going to be a guest artist for them for this month which is very exciting for me so the members of the YouTube Artist Collective include Monique Renee, Chloe Rose Art, Hello Alice, Lemia Crescent, Art a la carte, Bailey J, Mira Byler, Safira Lou, Kirsty Partridge Art, Danica Sills, Mystic Arts, Gel Arts, Sakuems and Brushes and Bunnies and to be honest these are all artists that I am subscribed to on YouTube and I find them a really big inspiration and to be honest I'm a little bit fangirly at the moment for me being a part of this uh, collective for this month. So now that we got all of that talking out of the way I'm gonna start talking about the art now. So the theme that was voted for this uh, artwork was masquerade ball and to be honest when I seen this theme I actually really really liked it and I hoped that one would be chosen and it was. So when I was coming up with a concept for this illustration I decided I really wanted to do an artwork depicting a cute couple kind of I guess. Um, I really wanted to have them wear masks resembling specific animals and I wanted to go a little bit further than what I've usually been doing with my art. I wanted to make this one fancy pants. So as you can see I'm actually inking uh, these characters onto separate pieces of paper. Now this is for a specific reason and that is that I kind of wanted to give them a little bit of a 3D effect for this artwork. So it looks like it's multiple drawings but don't worry it's going to come together into one illustration and to be honest this idea came to me uh, very randomly and I um, actually was so excited to do it. So as you can see I'm sketching out the masks now and I decided for her mask to be of a mouse and his mask to be a parrot and now this was mainly because I wanted their color schemes a little bit different from each other to show that they're they're sort of different people from different walks of life I guess so hers is a sort of a warm gray kind of color and his is a very flashy bright kind of color so as you can see I am using my Copic markers for this artwork and I am actually drawing on Expressit blending card. Now as you saw earlier I actually sketched these out onto printer paper and then I used my light box to transfer the line art over to some fresh uh, Expressit blending card. Now this is mainly because I don't often like to sketch on my blending card because it's expensive paper and I feel that the markers lay down better when you haven't drawn and erased on the paper. Now as I was drawing this artwork I can't help but come up with like little backstories and um, things about these characters because to be honest when I'm really feeling an artwork when I'm really loving it I can't help but make these stories up in my head and then I kind of just have to say them. So some backstory for this character here, he's not exactly royalty or anything but he is quite well off. I believe he is related to a lord somehow <laughs> and um, yeah he was at this ball and uh, masquerade ball obviously and he decided to uh, you know mingle with people and he came across this young lady here which is also in the artwork. Now the young lady um, I'm actually mentioning she is not as well off but she is very hard working she's definitely not poor or a peasant or anything like that however she is slightly lower class however she does have a cousin who married into a wealthy family so of course she got invited along to this ball now of course this these two characters ended up meeting and they basically hit it off. They loved each other's company. He was very funny. She was very sweet. And that's pretty much how it goes. So, you know, I guess these two characters, they ended up 
uh, falling in love and getting married and all of that fancy pants romantic crap. And I guess they ended up having a very good life together. But yeah, this is actually the moment where they just meet and he asks her to dance and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I actually really like how the color palettes that I chose for these two characters actually show off a little bit of their um, their background, I guess, because her, her colors aren't as bright and flashy, but they are nice and she does look really good. And his clothes, they are quite frilly and out there and colorful. But also, I don't know, kind of nice, I guess. Classy, not too fancy. Now, I just want to say, if you are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Sarah, and um, my channel is obviously called Scribble Fix. And I make a lot of art videos. I do speed paints twice a week, and I, I use a whole different range of art supplies. A lot of the time, it's my Copic markers. Sometimes it's watercolor. Sometimes it's painting sometimes I do little creative things like modeling clay that kind of thing so yeah I hope you enjoy my channel and I hope you click subscribe so back to the artwork um, I actually really wanted the characters to stand out from the background and that's why I decided to use a different uh, medium for the background as the characters so as you can see I'm actually using my watercolor paints here now the watercolor paints I use are my Sennelier watercolors. So I started off with a light wash of a sort of very warm goldy yellowy kind of color. Now I wanted this uh, first layer to sort of set the color palette for this background. I wanted a lot of warm colors and just to make it like nice and inviting I guess. Um, I also wanted it brighter in the middle and sort of darker to the sides. Now I used a little bit of masking tape here just so I could get a nice flat uh, line and that was mainly for where the wall meets the carpet. After I left that initial layer to dry I decided to go in with some decorations for the walls of this place because it's supposed to be like a fancy ballroom so of course th this place is going to look fancy. So I actually decided to go in with a darker sort of warm brown color and do some lines uh, here and there and yeah. Funny thing is I actually decided to on the weekend while I was away from my desk to do a little bit of a test artwork and I, I basically did the same thing as here except it was on a very small piece of uh, watercolor paper and yeah it was actually a really good idea to test out uh, what I wanted to do and yeah, I ended up coming up with a good artwork uh, concept and I guess color comps as well. So yeah, that was actually a good idea and I don't know, I don't usually plan that far ahead, but for this artwork I really wanted to do that. So after I got down the basic shapes for the walls, I decided to go in with a light bluish green wash. Now this color was for the um, background uh, behind the windows so I didn't want to go too detailed because I know this artwork is going to be very detailed and I wanted the background to be a little bit less intense than the actual characters so I went with a nice blue color for um, outside the windows and then I went with a sort of more, more of a warm blue color for the decorations on the walls after that I decided I wanted a little bit more saturation in the carpet so I actually went over and did another layer of that. And then after that I decided to mix a darker brown and now you can see that little test artwork there in the corner. So yeah, I was actually using that as a reference. And I used a nice dark brown colour to do the doors and the windows. So yeah, I actually, I actually really liked that because it gives it a little bit more contrast but once it's all dry and um, finished it's not too intense which I like. Now actually I accidentally made uh, the window on the left a lot thinner than the window on the right but to be honest it wasn't that big of a deal and, and I ended up uh, giving it a little bit of a different um, pattern on it so you know it's not too bad. Also once I add the characters over the top you can't even really tell that it's that different because it does cover up a bit of a portion of the background. 
And finally, I painted in a bit of a chandelier there at the top, and that is the main light source and the reason why the middle of the artwork is brighter than the, the sides of the artwork. After a few extra details here and there, like some panelling on the doors and shadows here and there, and yeah, that was mostly it for the background. And to be honest, I really, really do like this background, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, uh, finally, I got that done, and I went on to cutting out the characters and their masks. Now, I'm using my little uh, craft knife here. And I had to be very careful to make sure that the cuts were nice and neat and also that I didn't hurt myself because I am, to be honest, I'm very accident prone. So I was like, please do not cut your fingers off, Sarah. <laughs> Miraculously, I ended up uh, doing it nicely and without injuring myself too. So that was a bit of a win for me, I think. <laughs> Now for these uh, masks, I decided to have the, the mouse's whiskers in the cardboard or cardstock that the paper is. Now that was a little bit scary for me because it, it the whiskers were very thin. So I was really worried about accidentally cutting them off. But you know what? They ended up doing all right. So now that I have cut all of them out, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more extra to this artwork. As you can see, I have purchased some little craft feathers from um, Spotlight and I intended to use these for uh, the guy's mask. Now I wanted to add a little bit more featherage. Is featherage a word? I wanted to add a little bit more details to his mask. So I actually decided to grab some feathers and stick them to the back so that they come out like that decided to go for a red and a purple feather because I thought that they would fit nicely. Now to stick these artworks down on their background I am using these Express It foam mounting squares. Now I'm just using a few here and there on the outside and a few on the middle of these characters and yeah it actually sticks down really well and you know holds up and it gives it a little bit of a 3D effect as well which I really really like. Now for his I, I wanted him to be a little bit more standing out from the background so a little bit closer to the, the viewer. So I actually decided to stick two uh, of the foam mounting squares together so that he would stick out a little bit more. Now that I got them down together, this artwork is starting to come together and this is where I get really excited because I have been waiting so long to see what they look like together and once I put them down on the background, it's like all coming together and I'm like, ee! So yeah, for, for the masks, I decided to cut some of the mounting squares into smaller pieces so that I could actually get them on there without them showing out of the sides. And yeah, it actually worked really well. I stuck down some of the uh, sticky things to the mask and put them on. And to be honest, they look so cute in those masks. I think that, I don't know, I don't know. It just kind of brings the artwork together, I think. To be honest, this artwork I am so, so proud of. I don't know why, I just feel really happy with this artwork and I don't know, it feels like it's a step up from my art, if you know what I mean. It's it's a little bit better, it's kind of closer to the direction that I actually want to take my art into, so I'm so pleased with that and yeah. Now I just want to say if you are interested in this artwork, I will have prints up on my Redbubble. I'm a little bit too attached to it to actually sell the original, but links to my print shop is down in the description. So here is the final artwork and yeah, I am, I don't know, I kind of just blew my own mind here with this because I did not think that it would turn out this lovely and I, I'm not trying to talk up my art or anything. It's just when you're really, really proud of an artwork that you make and you can't really think of anything bad about that artwork. It's it's a bit of a rare feeling for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm just happy. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for watching and make sure you go and check out all of the other artists' amazing artworks. I am so excited to see them. I can't wait to see what they did. And yeah, 
make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye everyone.